Ahead now, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo says Gumbe State Governor Ibrahim Dankwambo will be kindly remembered by history. Nigeria's Vice President gave this commendation during a one-day official visit to Gumbe State. And correspondent Larry Adeyemi reports that Professor Shibajo also broke fast with leaders of the state after commissioning several projects. A case of living the best for last. After eight years of service, Gombe State Governor Ibrahim Dankwambo showed off his legacy project and invited Nigeria's Vice President to commission them. A city gate, hospital complex, school, a trailer parking bay, college of medical sciences, then roads and more roads. It is a very special pleasure and privilege to formally commission the FCE Tech and Emir's Palace Roundabout Road for the benefit of the people of Gombe State and to the glory of God. Gombe Town stood still for its governor and his guests. Then the Gombe International Conference Center. After touring the facilities, Vice President Oshibajo was apparently impressed and shares his impression of the eight years of Governor Dan Kwambo's administration. It's a wide uh, range of uh, important development projects from roads to uh, the International Conference Center, to the College of Medical Sciences, to the hospital, the Women and Children Hospital. I think that's a very, uh, several of these projects are very crucial projects, very crucial development projects. And for that reason, I think um, we should commend uh, His Excellency the Governor and the government of Gombe State for uh, doing so much uh, over the past uh, eight years or so. It's less than 48 hours before the end of the Dankwagwa administration in Gombe State. The commissioning of these projects would ensure that the administration will be ending its tenure on a very high note. But the residents of Gombe and posterity will place Dankwambo in history and determine how he and his government would be remembered. Landry Adiemi, TVC News, Gombe.